If we ever get big enough to make an apology video, boy, that'd be weird. Yeah, it would be, but I mean, it's just not that hard. <sighs> like, just be a human being. Own it. Who feels bad for what you did. Learn from it, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still doing that in yeah. my personal life. Right. Ugh. It's not a mistake if we learn from it. Yeah, that's what they say, but I, it's it's kind of still a mistake. <laughs> right, but how long do you pay for a mistake? Ugh. I guess it depends on, you know, hmm. how big of a mistake it was. I mean, at 3 a.m., it doesn't matter how long ago it happened. You know, when you're laying in bed and it keeps running through your mind. Oh, yeah. You could have been four years old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Junior high moments come uh. back to... What was I thinking when I did that? Right, right. Yeah. You know that whole saying of like, the only person who has to love you is yourself, or like, at the end of the day, you're the only one who has to live with yourself or something? Right. What a bunch of bullshit that is. That's so unfair. What are you talking about? I'm the one who knows everything about me. I know all yeah. of my worst stuff. I should be the last person who has to live with me. <laughs> That's just not right. Give it to somebody else for a while. Yeah. Carly, give it to Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Just put all your troubles on a blanket and lift it up to God. I don't know if that would work for that's, me. <laughs> that's actually, my mom uh, kind of walked me through that exercise when I was an anxious young teenager full of incredible angst and worries and things that I had All to those do. emotions, I get it. And and I realized... I I bet you were the cutest wanna, little ball of angst. <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> I'm not sure about the cute part. But I realized part of that is when you have a bunch of problems and you just make a list... Right. You quantify the problems, <laughs> and suddenly it makes it all manageable, like mm -hmm. the gorillas. Yes. Would say. No, you make know what? All manageable. <laughs> You're absolutely right that that does. And I'm so sorry I kept giggling because the entire time I was thinking of like the horrible version of putting your problems on a blanket and lifting them up to Jesus. What's the horrible version of <laughs> uh, that? Okay, well, I was thinking, well, like. Hawk to <laughs> at first? Uh, well, <laughs> hilarious. No. <laughs> <laughs> How many times this episode are we going to say that? Um, Maybe it should be the name of our episode. Yeah, no, the thing that popped into my head, and I don't know why it did, but it was throw all your problems on the floor and waffle stuff them down to Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll try to say that again without Either laughing. way, you just say it again. <laughs> uh, put all your problems on the floor and waffle stomp them down to Satan. I'll put all your problems... On the shower drain <laughs> and waffle stomp them on down. Either way, you're still quantifying I'm them so first. Right. And that's the thing that makes them all manageable. <laughs> you know what? I do think it's kind of <clears throat> stupid that you're giving all your problems to God. You know, like he's supposed to be like the good guy, the benevolent being who gives you all of, all of the good stuff. And here you are just like sending problems he's gonna his help, way. He's going to help you with them. I get it. But also like... You know, if you're trying to get, like, that's like if you have a best friend, all right, and you've got a craft closet full of crap mm -hmm. that finally you decide to get rid of and you give it to them. You're just giving them your problem so you don't have to deal with it. Like, that's not really how you treat a friend. I, I completely agree. <laughs> but that is how you treat a benevolent right. benefactor. All, all giving being. Sure, yeah, that's right. Fair. That's fair. Yeah. Like I and and I know there's been a few times in my life where I absolutely needed to have faith in something mm -hmm. outside of myself. Right. And I just couldn't do it on my own. I get that. Chicago. <laughs> but <laughs> I can't do it alone. <laughs> yeah. I just can't. What's the song? I don't remember. Catherine Zeta Jones is pleading oh, to Renee but Zellweger. I simply cannot do it alone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry. I thought you Except meant in to this ban case, Chicago. <laughs> I was Catherine Zeta Jones and God was Renee Zellweger. <laughs> Hello it. and welcome to Shitty Analogies <laughs> on PBS, on NPR. Okay, I'm going to make one more point about my waffle stomping thing. Y yeah. I feel Don't like, Google that. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like it, it has to be a better method of, you know, of exercising your problems because you're physically stomping them. And sometimes you need to let out that aggression a little. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like punching a pillow. You know, like if you're actively acting out the motions of wa waffle stomping your problems down to Satan, I feel like you're going to get some of that angry energy out. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. I'm just saying, I think I've come up with a better solution. 